Hello everyone and welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. And yes, we are doing another jellyfish mold today. <clears throat> yes, we are. So, but I'm doing this one in a different color because I need a matching pair. So I'm going to do this one in uh, like peaches and pinks and things like that, oranges. That's what we're doing this one in. So, I would like to say welcome to everyone to my channel. New people out there, old subscribers, new subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. Okay, and I would like to say we have, I have reached 500 viewers. Oh, party! Anyway, um... I would like to do just a small giveaway. It's not going to be much. Um, I'm going to just, whoever comments on this video, they must like the video and they must be a subscriber to my channel. We'll receive, well, I just let me know. What I will do is, um, I'm going to just, everybody that comments and that is a subscriber, whoever comments on this post and this post alone, the pink jellyfish will, I will contact them. I will do a, like a draw, put everybody's numbers in the hat and draw one out. Well, not numbers, but everybody's name in a hat or let the thing do it or whatever. The computer do it and draw one person. It doesn't matter where you live. I, it doesn't matter if you're in Canada, U.S., whatever. I'll pay the shipping. No problem whatsoever. That way everybody gets a chance. I won't tell you what's in the prizes, but you will get at least three molds, some glitters, and a few other surprises, so don't worry about it. <laughs> just a few other surprises but there will be at least three molds some are small and some aren't small so like I said the only thing you have to do to qualify is you have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to like this uh, post you don't have to comment or anything all you have to do is like it heart it whatever you want to do with it just comment on this this um, this video or just like the video, heart the video, and must be must be a subscriber because it's not fair to people that are subscribers and then people just come in and comment just to win. So you must be a subscriber. And I once um, a winner is pe oh let me see how are we gonna do this um, the end. Whenever this video airs, which will probably be, I'm shooting this on Monday, it will probably be Wednesday when this video airs. Once it airs, it will be 24 hours from the minute that I post this and then I, I will, all comments will stop within 24 hours. And I will pick a winner. Anything, anyone comments after that 24 hour period. Once the draw has been done. They're not eligible after that. And I will post in this, this um, listing or this video. In the comments who has won. So without further ado. I have mixed up 4 ounces of Fast Cure JD. Diction um, demold four hour demold. Um, put the crushed crystals in, and we're gonna do it basically just like we did yesterday, only we're using different flowers and different glitter. We're using the pink yellowy glitter today, so basically the same thing. I just would like to see this in a different color as well. I don't know about these flowers, but that's what we're using today. Oh, there is something in the glitter already. A little black spot. Always something floating around. Okay, so I'm going to just get a little bit of this in here. And then 
I am going to start placing the, oops, I just dropped the top, the flowers. Now, these are the other set I got from Timu that came with the one I used yesterday. I have not opened these, so I'm going to open them off camera and put them in my little um, bowl I have over here so I can spread them out a little bit so I can see what's what because they, I swear they just... I don't know. Some are good in here and some are not so good. So I don't know if I'll be ordering flowers from Timu again. Oh Lord, now the package is stuck to my glove. Everything is stuck to my glove. The tape is stuck to the glove. Wow. Okay. Okay, so see I just put him in a container here. And I'm going to try to pick out some of these flowers see I hate doing this with gloves on so I'm gonna take these off real quick I just will not get my hands in any of the resin I won't be touching the resin cuz it's hard working with these flowers with these gloves oh on so I kind of want to get this one in here but I'm not sure how that's gonna work he's kind of big but you know what? We're going to try him. He's a little bit big. You know what? I should have. Yeah, pour some resin down in here. Maybe that will help. Maybe kind of. Yeah, because I don't know how well that's going to show up. And that is a thick flower. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this flower right here. But we're going to use him. He's in the pot now. Alright, everyone. Sorry about that. Okay, so we got him in there. I really did not like these too much, but I'm going to put some in there because you can't really see them. Let me see what else we have here. Where did the, I just had scissors? Oh, here they are. No, I just had scissors. So I'm going to cut some of these larger ones apart here. Just a little bit there. Throw him in here. Get that off of there, and I am not touching the resin. All right, where's my tweezers? I'm gonna press this down in here. Yeah, see, I don't think those little pink flowers are gonna show up that well. That's the only problem. I'm really thinking they are not. What is this bunch here? might use some of these purple ones if I can get them cut off real good here yeah cuz I got a feeling those pink ones are not gonna show up like I would like and where's those little leaves at? I am gonna use some more of these little well leaves if I can get them off here push y'all down in there yeah, I got a feeling this is the one that's going to give me all the bubbles. See all the bubbles coming up? Yeah, he's going to give me all the bubbles. Yes, he is. Let me get another leaf, and I am not touching the resin, people. I have my hand dandy tweezers. Try to get that up under there a little bit. Okay, let me see if I can get some resin on him and push him up there up there and push you down again try I'm gonna try to work on getting as many bubbles out of this one as I can if I cannot it's all right it will be just fine all right now we have this big bundle here I don't know maybe I should have put him over here and put some of these like right in here and maybe lift you up a little bit yeah put this that way 
long as they're laying down in the resin, it should be fine. I think I'm going to actually move him up a little bit. I'm going to put this one right here. Oop, he's all willy wonky there. He done went off the deep end. Maybe I should just lay him over top here and spread her out a little bit. Well, maybe not. Maybe right, right in there would be good. Try to press it down some. I think that one done fell off, but that's okay. That is still okay. All right, let's see. We have. Well, there was purple ones in here. I just realized that. I don't know what these are. Oh my god, I am not liking those little flowers though. Those. Um these little ones right here I'm not liking those too much okay I think I'm gonna have to cut these in the things but these are kind of cute here oops these are kind of cute they got all kind of different different pinks in them it's pretty cute might have to trim a little bit off here I don't know if they'll lay flat. Oh, it's I got st stuck. Oh Lord, now things are fall falling. Oh come on now, work with me. He you don't want to. He gets stuck in there. All right, come on, get on in there. And it's fine if it's sticking up like that a little bit because it's gonna get covered by resin regardless. It will get covered by resin regardless. Get you down in there. Maybe I should flip you. No, I'm going to leave you right there. Since you want to stay there so badly. Alright, I'm going to go on and put a little bit more resin in here. I made up four ounces just like I did on the last one. Oops. You stay over there and you get back up there. Okay. Let's try to get them to press down in here and let's see where can you go? Maybe maybe I cut this off right here because he's gonna stick up a little too much, I think. Could probably poke him in here. There we go. It's just a little different color scheme there. Okay, might have to cut you and you. Because you're not really going to tell from the back anyway. Get some resin on you. Push you back down one more time here because the bubbles are coming. Spray just a little bit. Um, let's see, do we, can we get any more in here? There's a little poof ball that flew off. I'm going to throw him in there as an additive. <laughs> I guess we could try to get some of this little bit of yellowy white in there. Just a little bit. I'm going to just thing it around a little bit here. Oh, I don't want to put my scissors in the resin. No, 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 no. So I'm going to just get that in there. Like I said, if it's not covered to the top, that is perfectly fine. We're going to do an another layer on him anyway. So it does not matter. Because there will be another layer. Oops. Oh, he doesn't want to. Okay, there we go. He want to lay the other way. Maybe I should snip this one a little bit. Eh. I have to clean off my scissors now. Snip him. Alrighty. That's sticking up a little more than I would like for it to there. 
Okay, um, what else do we have? Good, I wonder if I could put some of these in here. Yeah, I might. Just for a little interest, they come apart into smaller ones, so that's good. Down in here. Okay. That works. Try to make sure the resin get on it. Okay, I'm going to get another one here. Put some right here. I think this one's fuller than the last one. Okay, I think that will be it. Even though I will, I'm going to throw these in here just to throw them in. Even though you might not, never going to see them. Because it seems like they just go clear when you put these in here. But I'm going to put them in here. Okay, I think that's all the flowers I'm going to put in. So I'm going to go on and pour the rest of this resin over this. Make sure everything gets a little bit of resin on it here. Push that down one more time. All right, so get my spatula and go on and spatula all the resin out of here. And this was four ounces, and I do have it tilted up so the resin will kind of stay in the head for right now with some um, sticks. So once this is cured, well, not it doesn't have to be fully cured as long as it's where it won't move on you I will we will be doing the next layer and we'll have two different kind of jellyfish and I'll hold them side by side and see what they look like together when we're done all right make sure I get all this out these cups are really nice I am not paid by let's resin to say this they don't even know I exist but I like their cups. These cups are nice. Really like the cups. Really do. Okay. All right. So I w oops. I'm losing a flower. We'll put this back. I'm gonna just put all these flowers in this one bin here, so I don't lose anything. I'm going to throw you in here since you're already out and about. Probably throw you in here too. You're already out and you're so small. Throw you in here. Throw you right there. Alrighty, buddies. I'm going to put all these flowers in one bin so I don't lose anything because they're all falling out the bags get all of them in one bin here here go some puff balls should I put the puff balls in I think I will somewhere in here is that the right side no if there is a right side to this all right we'll put puff ball there we'll put this one down here And we have some white jumpers over here. Guess we'll just put them in right there. Uh, you know what? No. I think I'm going to put these right here. But I am going to turn you around though, buddy. And just press you in there. Maybe they'll show up a little bit since they're behind something else. Is that all my flowers that jumped out? Yes. Okay. Make sure I give them one more push down here. I know we're going to have bubbles. We might not even be able to see them. Especially up under that flower. We may not even see them. Because that crushed crystal really hides a lot of, a lot of stuff. It really does. I don't know why, but I just feel like I need something else over here. 
I think I'm going to just put this flower right there. I'm going to just sit it behind here and hope for the best. It's kind of doubled up, so. It's kind of doubled up. I don't know why. It might just be me, but these feel f like, f I don't know. They feel like they have not been dried. I don't know. Maybe they're not even flowers at all. Maybe they're paper. I don't know. It just, they just feel weird. If that makes sense. They don't feel like dry. And that's the first time I ever ordered any from Timu. So. They just don't feel like the dried flowers I am used to. Maybe I, I, I didn't read well. I don't know. Sometimes you have a tendency not to when you're buying things. You just go with looks. Try to get a little resin on top of this one here. Alrighty, let me stop nitpicking at this poor little thing. See, they gotta go um, clear when they have the resin in them. There's, they just kind of go clear. You can see the veining, but it's hard to see the the color. Put it like that. Alright, scoot you over a little bit. And this stuff will probably move. Knowing my look. Alright, so I am going to get the gloves on. And I am going to clean up my cups. I'm going to give this one more spray. And then I'm going to leave it alone. But I'm going to get my cups cleaned out. And my spatulas and my scissors. And everything else I've got risen on over here. Oh, let me move that sheet of paper. I'm going to get all of them to clean the scissors first so they don't glue themselves shut here. Yeah, so I'm going to just do some cleanup. And then we will be back when it is time to, to um, pour our glitter part of the... Um, well, I don't think I use this knife. Uh, we will be back. When, bleh, I can't. I'm tongue tied. Okay. We'll be back when it is time to pour the second layer of the glitter. And we're using the like pinks and yellowish tone glitter. I don't know what it's going to look like under the resin. It may be a whole different thing. It may be. So, you know, they change color. So. But we, uh, and um, I use four ounces, so I'm going to make up another ten ounces when it's time for the glitter or mylar flakes, whatever you want to call them. I will be adding some more crushed crystal to the mylar flakes, but I always do that before I put it in the debug. Oh, no, wait a minute. We're not using the debubbler, so yeah, you'll see me put it in. Because you don't, I don't need to put it in the vacuum chamber with these glitters. They're, they, they're, they're. They show up perfectly fine. Look at there. Perfectly clear cup with just a few wipes. I am in love. Let's resin. I'm in love with these cups. So far, so good. Alright, you guys. I will be back. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. This is dry. So we are ready to put our 10 ounces in here. I've already mixed up the crushed crystal in it. I did not put it through the vacuum chamber because we are adding these. And uh, let me make sure this is in the shot. No, it is not. Okay. So I'm just going to basically dump some of these Mylar flakes in here. And honestly, a good little bit of them. Yeah, that was like half the container. I may add more. And the last one, I added some alcohol ink to it. But I'm going to just look and I don't, I'm not sure which one I want to use. I don't want to use pink. Maybe a little orange because these are picking up a lot of orangey, 
pinky tones so we will see <clears throat> excuse me and then this is looking like this it's not as colorful I will say as the other one but then again sometimes you just have to wait and see yes yeah, so let me see what kind of alcohol ink I'm gonna use we have lemon I have ruby red I don't want to use that I have marigold which is maybe a contender or sunset Ooh. <clears throat> you know what I might add one drop of sunset a small drop and do two drops of marigold Look at all the little bubbles popping since I put the alcohol ink in. The marigold's just a little bit of a lighter orange. And that's the Picasso Ink Sunset and Marigold. And see what we get. Okay, that's more of a yellow. Oh, I might have ruined my thing. Yeah. Now I can't see my glitter. Like I want it to. Well, you know what? It should be fine. I think I'm going to add one drop of poppy red to tone down a little bit of that orange. Just a little bit there. Okay. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And you're probably not even really going to see this, but I'm going to mix this up really, really good. I think that matches the flowers a little bit more, this color. Yeah, with that little pop of red to mix in there. And you can always mix your own colors with alcohol inks. Oops, let me get that off of there. Try to get these little nooks and crannies here. Try to keep from having bubbles. All right, so we're just gonna start pouring. And wait for this to thing. So see, yeah, it's got this reddish tint to it. Red, orange tint. But then again, once this all settles, you are going to see all of this um, mylar flakes catching color as well so you got to remember that you are going to catch these colors in the mylar flakes you most definitely will they will show up All right, so let me see where else some need some in here. Well, no, do I? I actually think this is pretty filled up, actually. It's a big chunk right there. Let me get a popsicle stick real quick here and push this down some. Try to get that chunk up here in his little thing, little tentacle. All right, how are we looking here? I actually think it's domed pretty well. Maybe take a little bit more. Especially right in the head area. Oh, I don't want to make a mess. Yeah, I think I could take some in the head area here some of these little micro bubbles out uh, let me see how we do in here oh yeah that's pretty like I said it takes 14 ounces yes it does It takes 14 ounces. I 
Okay, we do not want to go over. There's not much left in here. Hopefully, we won't break any barriers here. Alrighty, let's see here. Okay, everything is looking pretty good. If we do have a leak, we'll just have a little cleanup to do. But everything is looking nice and domed. Nice and domed. Alrighty, so only thing left for us to do is wait and see how this turns out I'm gonna sprinkle a few of these on these little ends here I don't know if this is gonna help or not but sometimes see like the tentacles don't want to get a lot of sparkle in them on the very edge I'm just going to push this under here a little bit and get it a little thing. And now I know I'm going to have a little cleanup on the edges. But that's fine. That will be fine. It will just be a little cleanup. Not much. I'm just pushing the flakes I just put in here just a little bit under the resin there. They kind of sink on their own, but I'm helping them along here real quick. Yeah, I think this one I made a little more messier <laughs> than the last one. So I'll just have a little cleanup around his edges to do. I made a little bit more of a mess on this one. Okay, that's good. I just want to get a little extra around his um, tentacles there. There we go. Alright, let me push some of this in. Some of the flakes are overflowing here. Some of the flakes are overflowing. Okay. Okay, we are good. I'm going to spray a little bit more. I probably end up spraying probably about two more times just as those bubbles come up. And we will see what we get after this. I am going to clean up my cup again. Right after I get some gloves on. I didn't put them on while I was doing this, but I did not get anything on me, so... Yay. I did not get any resin on me. I know. Bad girl. Bad, bad girl. Alright, you guys. So, our next step is to demold our jellyfish. We will be back then. I'll see you later. Hello everyone and welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. It is time to demold our other jellyfish. I have the other one out so we can see them side by side. But it is time. I know I have more cleanup. He's still a little bit soft around these edges. And I have overflow that's stuck. Oh my goodness. Well, it might not be time to demold. He's a little just soft around the tentacles. Just like right in here. You know, I had I had put this under the um, Let's Resin curing machine. It's still kind of, oh yeah, I've got a lot of cleanup to do on him. Apparently, he overflowed on all angles. <laughs> Except for the top of the head. <laughs> He's kind of rigid everywhere, and it's still kind of warm. So, yeah, see, I can just, yeah, I don't want to mess it up. Because sometimes if you do it, turn it too, when it's too warm, it kind of messes up your other, your the rest of your, 
your um your mold it doesn't come off as clean that is put it like that okay so i'm gonna leave this on here but yes yeah, looking like an orangey gold i don't know if i should have put anything those um alcohol in this one but we're about to see yeah, see how it leaves ragged, rid, ragged, rigid edges when you do that, when it's soft. To me, it does, so I'd rather wait for it to harden up a little bit. Alrighty, and it's still warm. Okay, oh, yeah, I knew I was going to have some bubbles in there. I surely did, but see what I was talking about with these flowers? They're like see-through once they go in. But yeah, he is very orangey. <laughs> Very, very orangey. It still looks pretty, though. I mean, I didn't want them both the exact same color. Let me stop picking at this overage. Because it's just leaving sharper edges. But, yeah, it's still pretty. I just got a lot of cleanup on him to do. Yes, I do. But I will say this, this blue one is my favorite. Only because I like blue so much, probably. But yeah, they will look good together. I've already put my little hanger on here with some UV resin. I've got it to where it hangs like sideways like this. Like he's floating in the water like sideways, not straight up and down. But yeah, they're both really pretty. They go together nicely. Probably have one floating this way and one floating that way. But yeah, really pretty. Make a nice little set. And boy, they are heavy what it took exactly 14 ounces for this mold i do like the i like this glitter too you know they're calling these glitters whites on timu they're they're not white they really aren't they have color in them i was hoping just to get like a i was hoping they would be white but they're not they are colorful and depending on what kind of dye if you put any it's going to show up and I did put the crushed crystal in there. And I can see it. I can especially see it through here. Yeah, see, he's still nice and warm. The heat mat, I mean, the um, curing machine just turned off about 30 minutes ago. Oh, my goodness. Yep, so let me know how you like this one and the color of it. I will link all of the, um, let me try to put them side by side. Um, I will link everything I used in the description box. There's also a less resin link in there for um, affiliate link. So use that. Get you some of these because I really like these. I am not going to lie, I really like these. And use my link to buy them through and that helps me gain commission and all that good stuff with Let's Resin. Um, yeah, there's also a washi tape um, affiliate link in there as well. That I will, I think that, that it, it will, should be in these listings. Um, and don't forget to, um, to enter the drawing for the 500 mark. We've hit the 500, people. Yay, 500. I believe I looked, it was like 510 now. But, uh, yeah, that's weird because that's my old address, 510. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, yeah, just uh, don't forget to like the video. And you must have to be subscribed to my channel. Only thing you have to do is like the video, heart the video. You don't have to say anything, but make sure you heart it or something so I know you've entered. I don't think it really shows up when you just click, you know, leave a little message. Even if it's a little heart, like a thumbs up and a heart or something, something like that. And whoever is entered in the, in the giveaway will, I will contact them. They'll have 24 hours to respond. If they don't respond within 24 hours after this video po well wait a minute let me get this straight first <coughs> excuse me once i upload this video you have 24 hours before cutoff 
say this post at 9 o'clock p.m. You have until 9 o'clock till the next p.m. evening to comment on the on the um, video. You must be a subscriber and I will contact you through under the comments saying that you you're the winner if you don't respond within 24 hours after I contact you then we'll just pick another winner so that's being said I hope y'all appreciate it the jellyfish mold and I will link everything in the description in the description box yeah and I thank you for all that's been with me from day one. I thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. And I, I read every single comment that everyone leaves. I appreciate everyone's comments. Y'all are so funny and I love it. <laughs> I think a lot of people get me. Few may not, but some do and I appreciate that so much. Yeah, I really do. Y'all make my day with y'all comments sometimes. I just laugh so hard. <laughs> but I really appreciate every one of y'all. And everyone have a very blessed day. And good luck with the win. Because I think you'll be happy with... It's not a big surprise box. But it's got some things in it. There will be a full bottle of UV resin. And some molds and some glitters and a few surprises but i don't think anyone will be disappointed and then when we get to um 1000 views i'll even have a bigger giveaway or a gift card giveaway one or the other it'll either be molds and glitters and stuff that i like to use and, or it will be a gift card giveaway to Amazon. One or the other. That's when we hit 1,000 views. And with that being said, the giveaway is unused. It's brand new. Never been opened. Never been used. Except for, well, they haven't been used. But they have been opened because I mixed the glitters myself. There's two custom mix glitters in here that I mixed myself that I really like so you will get two of those and I think there's like uh, eight glitters in that I've picked out so far so but there's two of them that I mix myself and the other ones are like a fine glitter and you can mix them yourself if you like but I did two custom mixed glitters I'm pretty sure I'll be adding some seashells for my collection in there. And some other good little stuff. But yeah. Now if you don't know anything about resin. Don't like it. Unless you want to do resin. But yeah. But hopefully. if you, Hopefully whoever wins doesn't have these molds. Hopefully. <laughs> but anyway. I appreciate everyone. And everyone have a blessed day. And I will see you on the next video to announce the winner. Bye for now.